Hi Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So this is your um, general reading for the last two weeks in October 2017. Really sorry that I'm a little bit late uploading these videos, I've been awfully, awfully busy. Um, but yeah, we're going to come to you now with your reading. You've got, if you're interested in love, you've got your singles, uh, Love Gypsy spread for the last couple of weeks in October 2017 and you've also got your couples so I'm doing singles and couples and they're already on the channel Aquarius so without further ado let's have a look at what's coming up for Aquarius universe spirit show me Aquarius well that just tipped out for you two of pentacles and the temperance we'll put them back in but take a note of those cards okay because the two of pentacles often means when you're feeling unstable, possibly trying to achieve with that temperance card some balance in a very unstable situation for you guys. But we'll see what the reading shows. So Universe Spirit, what are the energies around Aquarius in the last two weeks of October 2017? What are the... What are the energies around Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs? Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs in the last two weeks of October 2017. Show me. So, I'm going to collect these back up and start laying the cards out. So, some of you guys, you might be fighting against others. You've got the Seven of Wands as being the energies around you so there might be some struggles that you guys are facing in the last two weeks of october 2017 sometimes this seven of wands can be people who are you know pointing their fingers at you and you're having to hold strong so you guys are going to have to be the energies around you are already around trying to be really confident trying to hold on to your power here against possibly some opposing forces your challenge is the death card so the death card is about changes and if the challenge is changes you guys will probably try to hold on to the status quo the way that things are because your challenge is death and when you get the death card it's all about changes and transformation and your energies are showing as the seven of wands possibly fighting against those things the reason for that seven of wands being your uh, energies around you guys in the last two weeks of october 2017 are the five of pentacles so the five of pentacles it might be something about because this card the tarot means many things seriously many many things all right so the five of pentacles often can mean rejection it can mean uh being left out in the cold for example it can mean financial instability but it can also mean leaving a building so some of you guys it might be that the in your foundation the reason why you guys are fighting against something here and we do have your challenges being death okay and you're trying to fight against a change that's happening i feel it might be that some of you guys are le needing to leave a particular place i'm getting the idea that you're leaving somewhere here and you really don't want to go okay i think that you you know for me the reading so far is saying that you guys are having to leave something behind something that might have been incorporated into your way of life for quite some time and around that i feel that you know with this nine of wands that you're trying to hold on to this because the nine of wands is all about waiting you're expecting something to happen so the five of pentacles being the root energy i would say that you guys are trying to i would say that with you guys the energy is being the seven of wands you're trying to hold on to something it is the challenge is about changes and transformation so i think that you're trying to hold on to the way that things are i think that you're worried about giving something up or having to leave a situation and the root energy i re often read the five of pentacles as well as somebody having to leave a building for example and around that with the seven of wands i think you guys have been trying to hold on to a situation for dear life the most likely outcome if you carry on doing this will be the three of swords where you won't win probably three of swords is disappointment bad news severance so i think that you this is something so far it's saying that if you're carrying on holding on to this thing aquarius you're not going to win the situation okay coming in you guys are going to experience perhaps a very important person to you queen of wands it could be top tier aries leo sagittarius male or female this is somebody who's quite a motivator as well somebody who could give really good advice but she's not so much an advice giver the queen well she is an advice giver but she's also somebody who does what she says that she's going to do okay so this could be somebody who highly motivates you this queen of wands it could also be somebody who gives you very good advice the queen of wands can also be yourselves as well as an energy and this represents confidence 
you guys right now, while well, you're the Six of Wands, okay, so you are, I think that you're very self-assured right now. I think that you're very self-assured of a victory because you're showing us the Six of Wands. You might have lots of backing behind you in a situation and that's why you're so resistant with this seven of wands because i think the situation is that you guys have to leave somewhere and you've been holding on to this thing for a long long time nine of wands you've seen whatever this situation is aquarius you've seen it through to the end and you're not willing to give up on it but your challenge is it's coming because nobody can avoid death so a transformation is coming and that's why you're holding on so dearly. But you're, so you, you, you don't seem worried. You seem so certain that you're going to win. The problem is that sometimes, and it is the shit up of life, to be perfectly honest with you, Aquarius, that no matter how much you try and, you know, hold on to a situation, no matter how confident you are, because you're showing us confident here, and that's why you're so determined here with the Seven of Wands, because you're not willing to give up on something here. All right, might be a property issue, for example. Five of Pentacles can show leaving a property, for example. Possibly even a job, for example. Whatever this is, it's going to leave you out in the cold. It's going to leave you with, oh shit, so that's over and done with. Where do I go to next? And this thing you've been holding on to for a very long time. But it's saying that if you carry on in the way that you're going, it might be that you do risk the potential for failure. Um... Coming in, what you'll experience is an offer coming in. This is an offer of a fresh start, potentially, with the Ace of Cups. And it could be from this individual here, this Queen of Wands showing here. Your hopes will be the Eight of Wands. So your hopes would be possibly for some rapid changes if this is going to happen. And the outcome shows as the Four of Swords. Okay, so you guys aren't doing anything. Four of Swords means that you don't take any action. We can see that something is being presented to you guys with that Ace of Cups. Sorry, cards just fell. We can see that uh, something was being presented to you guys with that Ace of Cups, potentially, and I think that this is an external agency around you, this is a lady or a man, it uh, doesn't have to be, because I, I think that this is something to do with housing or work, potentially, but there's somebody here who's very much behind you, they're motivating you, they're very interested in you as well, and they're offering you something here with this Ace of Cups, but you're still taking time out to think about this situation with the four of swords you're not taking any action on this situation with that four of swords energy okay um i, I, I see you guys to be perfectly honest with you aquarius as being very stubborn this month okay uh, it might also be that you guys decide to withdraw from this commitment with the two of pentacles from agreeing to something because two of cups is about commitments and agreements so i see you guys you're either taking time out to think about this agreement or commitment or you are withdrawing from it with that two of cups energy showing there all right so i think that uh you know you guys aren't sorry i was just turning over certain cards to have a look but we only want to sit with the two in the outcome let's go through the reading again uh just be sure that you you're on to a winner here, Aquarius, because the cards are saying that you're possibly going to lose something here for some of you guys if you carry on going the way that you're going. You guys are the Six of Wands. You're very confident in the last two weeks of October 2017. You've got a lot of backing. You've got a lot of people that believe in you with this Six of Wands energy showing here. And as a result of that, you're very stubborn with the Seven of Wands. You're fighting the good fight with that Seven of Wands because you're probably being told that you've got to leave somewhere could be a redundancy for some of you guys uh it could be leaving a property but around that you've been holding on to this thing for far too long i mean really holding on you're not willing to go down without a really good fight but your challenge is death and death is transformation and change and when you get the death card there are two things that are certain in life and it's death and taxes so with your death card this is inevitable so your challenge is that this thing is really inevitable okay but the problem is that the most likely outcome is if you carry on going the way that you're going, you might just lose whatever this situation is with the Three of Swords showing here because it shows disappointment, okay, with this card. You'll experience somebody coming in, a Queen of Wands. Could be top tier Aries, Leo Sagittarius, doesn't have to be. But this could also be somebody who's really trying to motivate you to do something here. And they've got an offer potentially coming in for you with that Ace of Cups. They want to offer you something new, something fresh. Your hopes would be, well, if I took this thing, maybe it could bring in some rapid changes. But the outcome is that you guys either tend to withdraw 
from committing to this thing here with the Four of Swords and that Two of Cups. Four of Swords is all about withdrawing. And this is about commitment. So you might choose to withdraw from the commitment, from agreeing to whatever this fresh start is. Or it might be that you need a little bit more time out with that Four of Swords to think about whether you want to commit to this thing. Okay? You are really quite adamant that you don't want a change happening here in the last two weeks and i think you're going to fight it to the death because i really don't see you guys wanting any particular changes in the next two weeks let's get your angel answer advice card universe spirit what is the advice that you have for aquarius on this reading what is the advice that you have for aquarius on this reading show me it says meditation will bring answers and that's probably what you're doing here. You're probably meditating for a swords on whether you want to commit to whatever this offer is coming in with the Ace of Cups. Okay, so meditation is going to come uh, bring the answers. But also I would read this as mediation will bring it. So perhaps there's a time to, you know, have a really good chat and try and reach some form of a compromise on whatever this situation is, you know, for yourselves. Because I think if you don't, Aquarius... It might be because you're so confident here with this Six of Wands. You're so sure that you're going to fight something. And you're going to fight it and you're going to win it. Because this is a card about winning and success. So you're confident because you feel that you're going to do that. Okay, you're so confident here. But this can also be bordering on arrogance as well. And I'm not saying that you're arrogant, Aquarius. But what I'm saying is, is it might be people that are egging you on as well. And saying, no, don't give up on that. No, 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 we're behind you. You're going to win it. And you so, are so certain that you're going to hang on in there. But it's saying that the results more than likely won't go in your favour. Potentially with that Three of Swords. That is your reading, Aquarius. Your general reading for the last two weeks in October 2017. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. Check out your love singles and your love couples reading as well. Take care. Bye-bye.